Good afternoon everybody and welcome to Resonance Arcade. This is part three of our Metal Gear Solid 3 run through. Uh, what have we just done? I've nothing. Forgotten. Oh yeah, <laughs> that, 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 I, I was... I spent an hour doing nothing. I was, I was absolutely terrible last time as well. I mean, worse than normal, I think. Um, it, it was rivaling the, um, the biometric eye scanner room in Metal Gear Solid 2 for the <laughs> oh, God. ridiculous amount of ineptitude on display. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sorry to everybody involved. <laughs> Let's, let's hope I can do a bit better this time. But I, I, I well, actually can't remember. I think we've just seen Ocelot for the second time, haven't we? Yeah, just got past the. We're basically now into the new area of the game because we just got past the area you were in at the end of the virtuous mission. So yeah, we're back to this swampy bit. Ah, virtuous right. So mission. yes, we're. Um... So I think I think we did go through this area, but obviously it must have checkpointed you back here when you saved. Well, whatever. The virtuous mission is so Japanese, isn't it? This, that that name. Fuck. <laughs> I thought that was. I thought I had a knife selected. Take that tree. <laughs> he is fast with that knife. He's a bit knife happy. He strikes like a he snake. Is. Does indeed. So let's He's see a snake eater now. So we can now see that the. Um, oh, so the, the stuff you got has gone off. Yeah, the python's got little <laughs> little. That's really tasty. <laughs> Yeah, it's got little, um, it's got little flies on it to show you that it's gone off. On and all, the, yeah, over the top of the icon. When you eat stuff like that, it'll damage you. So you don't eat it. But as I said to you before, keep a couple of um, gone off food items in your backpack because they're quite handy for a bit later on. Here we go. There's a, there's a certain there's a certain encounter for the boss that you can use them. Bear grills. <laughs> oh yeah, these bits as well. He looks like he's enjoying that. I'm not sure enjoyment is part of it. That's not how you eat well, a snake. He, he does what actually. He, there when, you go again, thinking you know how to eat a snake. I've seen people eat snakes and you skin them. You don't just eat ribs. <laughs> if he's out in the wild, isn't he? Not so bad. It's, um, <laughs> yeah, I didn't like say, that. When he eats something, he rates it and says what it tastes like. That's just what Bear Grylls does. Except he, he, he literally sticks his tongue out and shows mm, you it. it tastes of well. piss. That's because yeah. it's your own piss, mate. He always does that. He goes like... Well, I've been out in the wilderness now for about 20 minutes. I better drink my own urine. <laughs> it's like, mate, you're next to a river. I can get a grip. <laughs> oh, Bear Grylls. Uh, I, used to, I used to actually enjoy watching Bear Grylls, but then they started to actually put like warnings and stuff saying, don't do this, and the Bear Grylls <laughs> didn't stay out overnight, and um, then cutting stuff out of it, and I just thought, do not it's attempt this thing. unless you were a madass Bear Grylls. I know, I know he kind of was presenting himself like he was doing it all for real, and quite a lot of it he wasn't, but I kind of like the fact that the kind of suspension of disbelief. Is there any Are reason I'm going as slow as I'm going? Oh, shit. Tell me why! I'll be running right now. Oh, yeah, so you're trying to sneak past an alligator. I'm not! I'm tr this is as fast as I can go. <laughs> I think you can you roll. Can you roll? No, I can't do anything. <laughs> I'll shoot that little bastard. Well, I say little, he's pretty big. Um, <laughs> so teabag the water next to it. Yeah, he's obviously stuck in the, the silty, muddy bit. I've got no idea where you are. I've totally lost my bearings of where you are in the map as well. Shit. There's an item up there somewhere, though. This is a bad idea coming this way. You can't climb up that ledge there. Up no. there. Super, super snake, legendary soldier man. Can't climb a ledge. Yeah. It's a steep ledge. <laughs> you can only climb waist high ledges. What the hell? The hell was that? I That's want to turn that off. Sorry. We've got a few deliveries coming today. It's Christmas. <laughs> It is. Um, yeah, there's an item up on that ledge there. There's a wire you can get across to it, but I can't remember what it is and if it's worth it. So, I'm not sure if it's any point. There's quite a few caimans in the water now. Yeah, you're going to have to just go around the outside, I think, to try and get past them. <laughs> <clears throat> I 
Didn't someone say you could climb trees in this one? Yeah, I you can't can't have that certain, uh, They have to have that. It's got like a little vine going up them that clearly shows they can be climbed. There's only right. certain trees you can climb. Why can't I reload? I've got 36 bullets. Uh, isn't it zero out of 36? Yeah, zero is your, your, your total and 36 is in the clip, isn't it? Uh, 36 is what you can carry inventory wise. What you've oh, got right. in the clip is at the bottom, but it, you can see it's blank. Usually, there'd be little uh, bullet, like little bullet icons. All right. Yeah, it's all right. So if you reload it now, see this should be there. There we go. Yay! Oh, is that Did a wire? That trap. Yeah, yeah I can see. I can even see that. You crouch under it. See, this is how they get you in the jungle. Trip wires and stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you need to have a little just like just mess with all the controls sessions so you just know what they are. Well the problem is you start in a place that's not usually conducive to that. Oh yeah. can you got that one? No. And uh, they have but I'll if I see one I'll let you know what it looks like. The first one yeah, that I've, I've, I've seen them, I just uh, looked like it was a different texture, that was all. Uh, so you've got electric fences here and there's obviously certain gaps you can go through them. <coughs> I believe we're headed towards the first lab type place and didn't you get the scientist disguise in that here? Oh what there you go. So do you gonna do that? <laughs> <laughs> Are you dead? Oh. No. No no. Alright. Must be strong. There it is. I knew you could get under somehow, I just didn't know where. The bit that has a clear path underneath it. Yeah, alright. I was in shrubbery. <laughs> uh, I believe when you get into this next section there's going to be some guards and possibly even some guard dogs knocking around oh fuck's sake the hell that was a yeah, clear mines. forgot about them bad boys have you got a mine detector nope uh, I do I'm sure you picked one up in the or what did you pick one up and then did you die before, without saving it? Or no, you haven't got one. Bug juice. Yeah, when you <laughs> there's certain bits that have some freshly squeezed bugs. There's some hornets and stuff in the game. I can't hear the game very well. I need to be able to. I need to turn this up a bit. One second. I'll tell you what, we've been ticking the mick out of this game with its weird depiction of Russia, but I've just looked up the location at the start of the um, the mission, the yeah. Porsche, yeah, and it's it's on the same latitude as the south of France, and it's oh, all okay. kind of forests and oh, well, there you go. Fair so there, I'm pretty there sure is... the, the wildlife's not accurate, though. <laughs> uh, Do you get caimans in Russia? Possibly not. <laughs> That's a good point, actually. <laughs> oh, leeches. And I feel like a solid series is normally so accurate about these things. Yeah, it's, I don't know if this this place that it says is actually a real place in Russia, is it? It's Well, it's uh, on the Black Sea, the place where I'm looking. All right. It looks, look, looks similar. Oh, okay, that's a burn, not a leech. Yeah, it's a burn, so stick a cigar on it. Cigar on it yeah. <laughs> that was from the Claymore. It's an ointment. Good. Have I got anything to eat yet? I've got a calorie, mate. I've got a... Calorie, mate. That'll put that'll really fill your whole like thingy. That's really um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you see a couple of animals, stab them up a bit. Get some more Aye. food. So I've completely forgotten what you're meant to be doing at the moment. Um, Get a scientist, don't you? Not dying, yeah. that's my primary aim. Heading to a, a laboratory to speak to um, a scientist. Oh, there he is. So just got to get through these bits. In fact, I think that laboratory is the bit where we the video is captured where the, 
that guy was doing all that crazy stuff wearing the monkey mask. Mm. That video that we saw. I think that's that first lab. Or that's outside the lab, I should say. Oh, there's another claymore. There is indeed. As we all know, if you crawl over mines, you pick them up. Kids, feel free to try that. <laughs> in your local war zone. But, but don't, just in case there is anybody who took that <laughs> Some, seriously. Somewhere from the afterlife, Princess Diana just let out a scream. Well, if you're stupid I enough to say that kind of ice series. Didn't hear either of you then. To, if you're stupid enough to take that kind of advice seriously, you deserve to die, to be honest. I concur. <laughs> right, to so that tree to your right there, Chris, that's yeah, one yeah. of the ones you can climb up. With the big vines on it. Oh, can't see, the video's gone terrible. It's alright, I see it. <laughs> I see it. Alright, I think you might need to climb over it to get over that fence, that's all. I am fine. I'm going to try and find some uh, snakes. Yeah. yeah. It's tough. Anything that's, that's crawling around, you can kill it and eat it. Some of them will taste better than others. Oh! Fucking idiot! Electric fences, eh? Ho oh, ho! Oh, HQ. Right, HQ. You just had a suddenly a very festive guard. <laughs> Turn you guys down because you're too loud. Sir, it's Christmas. Can we celebrate? <laughs> really difficult to play I was when I was playing that game um, State of Decay um, last night uh, sorry I didn't actually suggest say that on the stream did I so I was playing State of Decay zombie survival game last night and um, there's a they kind of I've forgotten good don't matter were you getting put off by the fact that you were trying to play it and he is that was it because Sal was talking and because the, the guinea pigs were making noises and there was car noises outside it was I was trying to hear if I could hear zombies and like yeah. while I was scavenging, and it's like ah. But yeah. Oh, there's another claymore. Who needs a mine detector? You clearly, you've been blown up. Be plenty enough. Yeah, you could have get walked right into one before. Although <laughs> I forgot that uh, this is one of the. I don't remember this game as well because it's bigger and there's so many more areas. I have a more vague memory, and I've not played through it as many times as like one and two either. I guess the jungle's not as distinct as kind of facilities and warehouses and stuff. That's true. They're not. Yeah, the, the rooms aren't as uh, clearly like laid out. There you go. Over the fence we go. Could really do with thermal goggles or something. There are some in the game, but I genuinely cannot remember where they are. See, there was an item pickup in that swamp that you had to use a cable to get to. I'm not sure if that was the mine detector or thermal goggles, but it's quite a faff to get to it. Oh, what the what? hell? Did you just land on somebody? No, the the dog just went on. The uh, dog just saw me. What? What the hell is going on? Uh. <laughs> the game just. Fucking hell. Don't shoot the dog then. Don't try and actually shoot it. <laughs> just have to clip after clip it with dog. That dog's well hard. Fucking dead now. It's not well hard. He's in. What the hell EastEnders. happened to the game there, Chris? Yeah, that I, was really no weird. idea. I was just holding down R1, uh, R2. But the wow. at the same time, I got an alert and a guy started speaking. So maybe there's something wrong with the sound. I don't know. Oh, it's very odd. I've never seen that happen before. Oh, of course they can still see me. You killed the dog. So. It's like when you kill a dog, it's like when you kill a wasp, it uh, releases pheromones which attract the horde. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh dear. There's lots of bad guys. Yeah, so once you're in alert, if you then go and try and hide in the grass, well, in, you know, if a man is hiding in the grass and you know he's there, then you know he's there, like. If you've not spotted somebody, it's different, but if you know they're there, then they'll be able to shoot you. Hmm. So you can't hide in the grass when you're in alert mode, basically, is what I'm saying. Oh. Yeah, swamps and bugs. Nearly there, I think. <laughs> is he just speedrunning the level now? I can't do anything Speed else, there's nowhere to hide. There's a tree there. Right, thanks for that. Yeah, you can't just hide in the tree. Oh, 
have you got your um, thingy equipped? Your uh, tranquilizer? Oh, no. Don't know. No. Not that it matters much. Uh, no, but it's a handy if you are going to be sneaking at all. It is more handy to have that. Literally, what 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 can I do to hide here? I don't know. I think in this game, like if you get into an alert, it's obviously better to go back the way you came because you climbed over that fence. I don't think you can go back. You know you're there. So you're about to just uh, fight your way out until they stop shooting at you. Because in this game, the guards will stop coming after a while. They're not infinite like they are in the other games, but you still have to go through quite a few of them. You're probably going to die before that happens. Thank, thanks for the the step by step uh, <laughs> explanation of what's going to happen to me when I die. Well, yep. it is pretty obvious now. I don't really know what other advice I can give you other than play the game like better. I don't really know what to say. <laughs> I'm not asking for advice. <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, that was a sound trap, I think. That doesn't matter, you're in a late anyway. Yay! So if you leave a level uh, on an alert state, does it not have any kind of negative ramifications? Yep, it stays in alert. No, he's still in alert there, oh, but he's, right. you're in a new section, so you might be able to hide a bit better in a new section. Oh, no, they, yeah. can they can totally see you straight away. This is, this is really difficult, but at least I'm not getting a hit all the time. They're a bit of a shit shot, aren't they? But you are running in the woods and they're not right next to you. It's not that easy to just... I guess not that easy to hit a moving target in the camouflage and that. I don't know. You should be able to hide somewhere in one of these buildings. Um, this is what oh, I was looking for. There now. we go. There you go. They broke the line of sight, so you should be able to evade. Oh, what? Shoot in the face! <laughs> yeah! Right, back There's to sleep. Guy. There's another guy. Just... Yeah, I see him. I'm just looking around to see if there's anyone else. There's two of them. Looking nice! Mint. There we go, that's more see, like I, it. I, I live for moments like that in stealth <laughs> games. When you get a clean, clean kill like that, or a clean... Knockout. <clears throat> Take down. Yet again, they're, they're taking the camera angle, and even though they've given a much better control of it, they've taken it so you... When you come in and out of the grass, it goes first person to third person. It'd be much easier if it just stayed in third person all the time. And you could choose first person, you know? I think camera angles have been the blight of every third person game since they started trying to do them. <clears throat> There's a couple that work pretty well. I mean, Giza was pretty good. Yeah. The camps. <clears throat> yeah, it's a fairly late stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Third person game as well. Yeah, by the sort of the, by that generation, they more they've got them better than they were before. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, early, I remember like, you said the was... um, that Lone Soldier's camera was pretty good, look. Uh, I can't remember if it was good or not. So in fact, I think it was terrible. <laughs> It didn't, yeah, it, it didn't follow you around. It basically stayed sort of pointing up the level. Which wasn't too bad, I guess, but... It, was, it, wasn't, the, <laughs> it wasn't the worst thing about that game. No. That would be the everything else. I've never actually played that game, but it looked terrible. Do you know, I can't even remember what the game was like, I just remember it was terrible. I can right. see it in my head, if I think Yeah, about I can it. as well. There's uh, some stuff you can do in this game. So, here, there are some storehouses. Now, if you throw, like, uh, some C4 or stuff in the storehouses and blow them up, then troops later on in the game will not have the same amount of supplies and there'll be less of them. Cool. So, you can do things like that to affect stuff. That's cool. Like, I'm not sure if this one's got a food storage place or a weapon storage place, but this, it affects basically what the troops are like around that area. And since there is a bit, a little bit of backtracking in this game, not that much, but there is a little bit, 
it, it is a bit helpful. Oh, you got an extra suppressor for your pistol, though. Right? See, this is the game where you do it, and they've got they quite often have more than one. In fact, they have all of these have got two things that I've picked up so far. Indeed. Awesomeness. There you and go, that, back to will, normal. Will I give me a third? No, that's, it, that's it. So yeah, probably, I can't remember what exactly is in those places, but have a look around. There's also one bit where there's a helicopter, um, sort of, parked, is parked the right word? There's a helicopter basically in one area, and you can blow that up with C4 as well, and it won't appear later in the game in a certain section. Cool. Is it like an attack helicopter or something, or is it, does it yeah, cause yeah. problems? Is it, there's a helicopter that's like searching around for you later on in the game. It's something you have to avoid, and you can take it out before you get to it. If I remember correctly, or it could be that there's two, and you can take one of them out or something like that. Uh, there are most likely still guards in this area. I know yeah. you took a few out, but I'm, I'm pretty sure there are some. There you go. Face, no. It's just the act of, uh, um, It's basically a white... Yeah, it's a white face to paint, basically. There's a snow camo suit as well, some, somewhere in the game. I'm sure there is. Unless you've already got it. You yeah. pick extra ones up as you're going along. Ah, so I think that wooden shed there is like a food storeroom. Which means there's some food you can pick up in there as well, I think. And there's the helicopter I was talking about. I don't know if you've got any C4 or anything yet. There might be some in this base somewhere. Try to kill the little mice. Right. Take that. Oh, you can catch them live. Uh, Brilliant. Uh, so it'll be in the items, that won't it? Yeah, that will be, I think. Uh, I don't know, actually. Maybe it's in the weapons. I never tried the fake death pill. It's a point. From what I remember, it's it's sort of useful, but not. it's not like it's going to get you out of an alert every time you get into an alert. <laughs> oh. It's in weapons, mousetrap, obviously. You have to set it. And you don't have any C4 yet, so I don't know if you can blow these things up. I think you might need C4 to do it. Where's the mousetrap gone? What's wrong with me? There it is. Oh, there's a dude right there. Oh, is he going to come and investigate now? How do I snap his neck? <laughs> is it is it is it square? Um, you, to grab hold of them in this game, you press and hold circle, but it has to be circle. not moving when you do it. It is the punch button, but you hold it. Oh, mate, mate, get up! Oh, fucking, where do they all come from? No beds. Oh dear. Fucking wankers. They're just everywhere. All the, remember all the guys that you probably tranquilized earlier just woke up as well. Oh yeah. They only stay tranked for a couple of minutes. Well that's the ammo place I was talking about. Hey, you got a machine gun now. Start blasting on fools. White phosphorus grenades and TNT. Sounds like a party. Yep. Don't leave you home without it. Oh, 
Oh. Uh, get rid of my chaff. gonna die so yeah when you've got a gun equipped as well like like that you'll do more damage with your punches and stuff pistol whip whack him with the foot yeah exactly well, he just did that there didn't he so you're just gonna drive one into this room and kill him I don't know what I'm doing I this have is no I tactics. Do these sort of situations. Hey? Just wait, wait yeah, room yeah. for everyone to come and come in and <coughs> gank by one in the doorway. I was hoping I'd get away with that, but oh, you know. nice! You broke the door. What, what body armor does he have to be able to survive several shots in the chest? From an AK the, the all drew blood as well, by the way. Ah, uh, I was just looking up something about where the thermal goggles are. Um, we missed them. Actually, in that, yeah, and you can't go back. Didn't we get them though? Maybe I died. I'm sure we got them really, really early on in this game. They were. Oh, the, that was a virtuous mission. Yeah, they were they're basically they're in that room where you see Sokolov. They're in a locker. So when you go back there the second time, you have the weird thing with you have to fight the ocelot unit. They're in that room. You don't have to hold down fucking three buttons when you're shooting and running this time either. Do you just press square when you're running? And it just shoots, does it? Yeah. Yeah, which it should have been from the beginning, really. I think, you know. Ah! Oh, shit, he's right behind me. Alright, one guy left, I think. I must admit, I'm enjoying watching all this stealthy tactical espionage. Yeah. <laughs> it says tactical es espionage action, not tactical stealth action. <laughs> Just because espionage suggests that you have may have to be a bit quiet, a bit you, underhanded. You can. Well, I think the point of espionage is that people don't know you've done it. Well, they don't. They don't <laughs> tell the mates, do they? That's the problem in this. <laughs> dead men dead. tell no tales. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's see what the rat tastes like. Tastes like. Oh, we're not going to get a video of it. It's all right. <laughs> was not bad. Rat was not bad. You only get the video like on random Reading occasions. Bandage. It just s decides what it wants to do. It. Is there a video for the rat? I'm not sure. There isn't one for every thing that you eat in the game. Bleeding. Stick to. That's right. Is this um? Is this little? Kind of mini game sort of thing here being carried under the later ones, or is this just no, it's no, no, no it's just in this one. <clears throat> Seems a bit gratuitous and a bit silly. Yeah, well, it's, not, it it's not exactly gratuitous, but well, it is. It's, it's just superfluous, like, I think. Yeah, you, you could just use an item rather than have to find the body part and then the right thing for it. It's like overly thought out. Yeah, they didn't uh, maintain it. I think they were trying to go for the more survivalist thing, but it is just a little bit of a pain. It does. It takes away from the game as well because I've come out of the action that I've just been in to do this. You know, it's like yeah, play doctor with yourself. Suffering from a deep cut. What am I supposed to do then? Um, so it up. There we go. Oh, it's back rush. Food, don't I? Rush the ration. Well, that's just stamina, <laughs> isn't it? Shit. Yeah, I think they only do you stamina. Your, your health will recover slowly when you've got full stamina. To get, to get your health, it's basically the life medicine is the thing that actually recovers your health. Oh! What the hell? Shoot him in the face! Oh, I just held him up on the ground. Yep. 
That'll do. You're getting shot like. Don't know where from. There. Is he still on the ground? He's still on the ground, brilliant. <laughs> Punch the falling man with bullets in his face. <laughs> the I've hole. never seen that before, I don't think. You know, them holding him up on the ground. It's brilliant. What's wrong? I see him. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure they will start coming eventually. You might actually just kill a lot of guys to get to that point. Do yeah, what are you trying to do? I'm trying to pick oh. him up. Yay, medicines. Okay, dude, dead, now. He's then. killed everyone in the entire world. Let's trank this guy. He'll go down in a second or two. <laughs> he's, got, he's got two tranquilizer tarts in his face. <laughs> huh? If you hit him in the head, it should have gone down straight away. Yeah, I missed his head, unfortunately, then. HQ, HQ. This is, HQ. is he still on the ground? Fucking hell, he is. Right, who's doing? Who's saying that then? Because you killed like everybody. There you go. Put him in the hand. Is this where you're meant to be, by the way? Is this the compound? Uh, this is. It's, it's a place that you go through. You can sort oh. of just. You can run straight through it, but it's not the place you're heading to, no. Is that the helicopter on the left? Yeah. Yeah. Don't blow it off. Let me kill this And then last I believe there's, a, there's another building that you've not been in, I think, like there's little barracks. I'm not sure if there's anything useful in there. Yeah, I'll go in there in a minute. Yeah. I want to clear there must the be another. There must be at least one dude around here, otherwise, there'd be no caution thingy. Yeah. He's somewhere. I haven't managed to, like, actually res um, hold anyone up yet. In this game, you got the guy on the floor. There we go. Yeah. I knew I missed one thing in there, I just didn't know what it was. Smoke grenades can be handy for getting away from guys as well. You picked up one then. Right, so... Ah, uh, I've got a feeling there might be a soldier inside that building. Maybe that's why there's yeah. still a caution. Which means when you open the door, it'll probably be stood right in front of you. Uh, so when you blow something up, it'll go straight back into... Not alert mode, but oh, I think it might be alert quickly, then it'll be into uh, evasion again. I love the way you did that, like with stuff. Uh... Oh, it's just caution. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Massive huh? explosion, huh? Uh, it's probably nothing. There you go. Uh, I'm not, there's, there's a couple of doors to get into that building, I'm not sure. Which is the best way to go in? <laughs> it's like watching a man kind of recover from some kind of general anaesthetic. He's like... Oh. He's not quite in control of his body yet. Yeah. He's a little, uh... Oh, do you get the stealth camera? You've got to shoot all of those things in the game. Now, a lot of them, 
aren't that challenging like that one. But there's a there's a chase section later. Where you have to shoot them as you're on a mo in a motorbike chase, and it's ridiculous. Like I had to retry so many times. Yeah, we're not we're doing that. Yeah, definitely not doing that. That's something you would have to research for, I think, as well. Yeah, I did actually have to look some of them up because it was so fast and so ridiculous. I just wanted to stealth camo. <laughs> Is that like uh, super camo, basically? You just yeah, you basically makes you, <laughs> makes you invisible all the time, no matter what environment you're in. Awesome. I think I think it basically still is the Predator stealth camo from the other games, but obviously it's just a bonus item, so it's not really like real to the world. Huh? All right, there he is. Fucking! As soon as you get anywhere near them, he did open a door next to him. You can't and you can't hold him up from the front either. Uh, yeah, more dudes somehow. Fucking fuck! Get on the roof. That's right, go to the highest point where you can't escape. No, you can still jump down off the roof, and there's a thing up there. The best thing in the game, maybe. No. Oh, decrepit. Where is he? <laughs> you bummed that helicopter. Where is he? Tell me where he is now. <laughs> I can't see him. There when he you moved that, that bit, he went back into alert. I think I missed him then. Oh no. Hey! <laughs> Down I go. I see now the numbers are falling really quickly. That means there's nobody left. You've killed everybody. Or that means I can literally sleep. just jump around and be a dick. And jump it off, does until jump that, off roofs that, like that. Until <laughs> that guy went up again, yeah. I think, uh, unless you want to blow up these supply things as well, you've done everything to do in this area, I believe. Blow, blow up what supply things? Um. That, that little hut there where you got the food from, there's the place where you got the weapons from, there's the medical one as well. I'm presuming they'll regenerate if I come back through, but they're... But it's, is I it better they, to kill them or not? I think they do regenerate, but it, it, it means that the soldiers aren't as well equipped later on. It, it doesn't make a huge difference, but it, it does help a little bit. I think they're easier to fight against, and things like that. Like, if you do get into a firefight, it takes less bullets to kill them and all that kind of shit. You do get more TNT later in the game, and you don't really need it for that many places either. I don't think I ever used it in my playthrough. I obviously didn't play this uh, like I play a lot of games, you know. What the f Somebody must have just woken up that you tranquilized. Oh, he's not yeah. going to fucking wake up now, is he? Dick. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? You shoot the barrels? Yeah. Uh. But they're not red. See, there's only red barrels that explode. Yeah. Oh, oh, the other ones. Barrels, barrels and Doom are just silver. Well, yeah. But they became red, didn't they, very quickly, like, as a troop? Yeah. Because there are some barrels that you're not. Cause, yeah, because I wanted to decorate the maps with non exploding barrels. Yeah, exactly. Suddenly there had to be a difference. Because you can't have a, a game without barrels in it. It's just travesty, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, so I've blown that one up. There's that one over there, one as well, I can blow up. Yeah, that's the uh, munitions one. I wonder which was the first game to do the exploding barrels thing. I don't know. Do you probably call Doom's, it Doom's pretty early. Wolf nah, I'm, it, haven't. I'm sure it was in 2D games as well. I'm sure I've seen that in like a Metal Slug or some type of game like that. Doesn't feel like that blew up. Oh no, it does. It does look. Yeah, it did. Just because. Have I exploded them all then? I think, was that the medical one? Have you done that one as well? I did put one in here, but nothing happened, so... I think you had to put it right against the stuff, not against the wall, but... Uh, I don't know, maybe not. Maybe you can't do it in that one, maybe I'm wrong. Doesn't matter. It's not It's not essential. No, uh, so the motion think... detector's taking absolutely no energy off me. As I've got it on. Maybe it doesn't. Alright, you must keep it on, I guess. I think it makes a sound, so the guards can hear you. You've got ah, it. Ah, that might be why I'm getting owned every time I try and hold someone up. Possibly, yeah. Alright. Let's pretend. Giving you everything he's got to give. 
Uh, watch direction I'm going to be going in because I've got turned around again. Um, we came in the way behind me, so let's see if I can go the other way. We came in the way behind me. Yes, the way behind. So I think we came in the other side, so I assume. I think we came in over there. Yeah. So I assume we come out here. Do you want to check your map, maybe? Because I've got a feeling there's a couple of entrances you can get into these kind of places as well. Like I say, the game is quite... It's a lot more open. And there's, like, some paths have multiple routes. Like, I think you might be back out here where the dogs and stuff were before. Uh, yeah, that looks like I've been yeah, there. Yeah, you are. So if you head back the way you came, there was another e exit. If you head up, like, past the helicopter... Yeah. There was another little bit that was like, doing the sort of screen exit thing with the... Black the enemy's going to be back now. Uh, no. no, I don't think so. Yes, yeah, so it's a bit later on. I think there is still a helicopter, but there's like less. There's like one less helicopter. I like stuff like that in games where you can have a lasting effect on. on yeah, it. yeah. Like I th actually, I think this whole area is op optional. Because you, from what I've seen, you, you can bypass it and just go straight ahead. But you can come here and disrupt their organisation a little bit and kill a lot of their soldiers. I'm sure I came in this way, you know. There you go. That there's a little path up there. I don't think you did. No, you're right. So there's one down there, or there's one up here. Yeah. So I got the up one. You go. You go in north, basically. The other ones are just multiple en entrances to the the place that you were in before. He's very deliberate in his running, isn't he? He's got purpose. Yeah. He's got a mission. He knows where those legs are going. Oh, you're about to fight Ocelot. <gasps> Thanks for spoiling it. God, you're rubbish at games, you. Ah, you're here at last. Looks like the boss's info was right. Shut up, Ocelot. <laughs> What a douche. Nice now you've made me taste bitter defeat. He is. Oh, what a fucking stupid call that is. It's really the most <coughs> non-threatening call ever devised. Does he have the echo on himself as well? Is that with his voice? I disappoint the cobras. <laughs> but you're mine now. All of you. That is the single most annoying uh, hand gesture I've ever seen well, in that? anything what was that? ever. It's like pantomime hand gesture. No, he, d he does it all the time. He's all he does done that from the very beginning of this game, and it pisses me. Ocelots are proud creatures. And it carries over into Gear Solid Four, I think, a little bit as well. Did he just call? It? Did he just call all his dudes just to go? Look, I've got loads of men, but I'm not going to use them. Yeah, they just stand there and watch. In fact, I think. Um, a little bit they might start shooting as well. What? Stop it! You dick! What was it that much what's I can that do film where someone does this and then someone just punches them or shoots them Indiana in the dead? Jones, yeah. Indiana Jones, again, yeah, with the sword, yeah. sword, Just one, one of them, yeah, yeah. Although he did that apparently because uh, Harrison Ford had like, dysentery at the time or something, couldn't, couldn't fight. <clears throat> so they rewrote the scene so he just shot them. This time I've got 12. <laughs> dysentery Ford. Yeah. <laughs> 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 is this a mini game? Is it? Oh. No, I'll just do the twenty-four thing. Straight up shoot out. Oh, this is a boss fight. All right, okay. Is that a big chasm between these? Yes. Yeah, right, so you can't reach him. Not bad. I've not done anything. You're not dead yet. So oh shit, yeah, you can't stay still, can you? Because he'll, he'll just shoot stuff off things. I believe there's a hornet's nest somewhere over there you can hit, you can shoot to distract him and things like that. Oh, a good lad. Is that right oh. in the middle? Yeah. 
There's two of them. I think it's not all. You have to. You have to obviously wait till he's around that area. Be <laughs> better. Never felt the tension like this before. <laughs> <laughs> different from simply changing a clip. See, that's a little callback to the bit in Metal Gear Solid Bomber. Where it's what? like I love to reload during battle. What he's got he two revolvers. He's, he's got two revolvers, so he's reloading both of them. It looked like he was jerking the gun off. Well, there's a little bit of that. Where is he? Sure. There he is. He's not at that one anymore. Oh, well, fuck it. Yeah, he is. Oh, well. Oh, Hornets moved, aren't they? Yeah. Right, so whilst he's distracted, go and shoot him. <laughs> uh. Cheating. Get that other one. There's another horn nest above him, yeah. Other walls. You won't get away from me. Yeah, bad. Oh, for fuck's sake. Honestly, how do you aim that thing? That's it. That's the best you can do to aim it. Can you not um, aim down the iron sights as well? That's it. Uh, by pressing... What does it say? What does it say? All right, okay. L1. Oh. L1. Well, does that not go down the iron ah. sights with it? Yeah, there you go. I knew you could do that in this game. Where is he? Is that a goat? It's hiding. Yeah, I think it is. I don't know if that has any effect on the fight. It's just mean. <laughs> just respect for the goats. This isn't an annoying fight at all. You won't get away from me. Um, what? What was that? It's so convoluted, the fucking aiming mechanism. You have to just hold, like, circle down just enough. No, square. Then you have to hold R1 and R2 in the right order, and then you have to press square down in order to actually fire. So you've already got square held. I mean, with a pistol, you just hold square down and release to fire, so I don't know if that's easier. Uh, no, it's not. You don't. No, no, you don't. It's the same with pistol as well. No, I'm sure it isn't. You don't have to hold down. L1 though, it's, just, it's always in iron sights. But anyway, I've got um. There's a snake next to you which might bite you as well. In fact, you might be able to tranquilize that and throw it at him. Oh, no, Too late. <laughs> you can do that, you can throw like um, live snakes at enemies. <laughs> snake emitter! Look what it's time. I'm just going to do that. <laughs> I ran straight into it. Oh it no. Oh. Nice. Oh. Oh. Exhilarating indeed. Can you just throw away the, um, the off food then? You can, you can, yeah. Is there any other use for it? Yeah, we said there is. Sam there said is about a... sixteen times what the other uses yeah. are for them. <laughs> sorry, I must have. There's a specific boss fight that you can use. Oh yes, yes, I do remember. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Got off food and it really helps the boss fight. And given that that boss fight also is a lot easier when you've got thermal goggles, the fact that we don't have them means that we probably should do the poison food technique. 
Those grenades aren't really hurting him. Yeah, they are. Took a fair decent amount off then. Yeah, he is running away from them as well. As he would run away from the grenades. He's a pussy. He's also shit at aiming. He is. He's barely touching you. He's only young. I think the grenades are just making him move. They're not really. It is. Him. They're not. They're not hurting him at all. They're good to get him out of cover, but other than that, they're not doing anything. So if you throw a grenade and then like shoot him. Oh. Ooh. It's a revolution. That's a good place to reload us a lot. Yeah. Right out in the open. <laughs> Just blow for blow. Alright. Try and aim without a gun equipped. Recoil on the AK is shit, has not it? Yeah, it's not the most precise weapon, is it? <clears throat> it's not known to be either, I suppose. No. It's not really what it's about. Is there any hornets left? Left? Have you shot them all down? Yeah, there's one, one left. left, but he never stays there long enough. Yeah. Shut up, soldiers, no helping. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Ointment? Was that a nest you just picked up there? Yeah. Oh, did you. Maybe one of the thingy nests behind you got shot down. Yeah, can you, I think you can eat the hornet's nest as in, like. <laughs> it's honey or something. Possibly. Can. Om nom nom nom. Don't need to though, because I'm hard. The hornets make honey? I don't know much about them. Oh. No, they honey don't. Honey bees make honey. Yeah. You can eat hornets though. So. Well, you can eat anything technically. Yeah, that's that was my point. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to recommend it to anyone. <laughs> Is it the Japanese hornets that are like scarily huge? They're like the size of your thumb, yeah. They're really... Yeah. Oh, it's gross. You get pretty big ones in this country as well. It's like uh, the, the, I think the wood, wood wasps, something like that. Yeah, yeah. There was a um, paintball on once. It had a stinger like about an inch long. Oh man! Massive thing on the. But it's an overpositor, not a stinger. I don't think it could actually sting you with it. But it still looked nasty. <laughs> yeah, it's, it does a job. <laughs> yeah, hornets actually bite, don't they? Uh, I don't know. I think so. Yeah, wood wasp. Alright, so can I actually not, apart from using the life medicine, I can't re re restore life? No. Rubbish. So your life will recover over time, but during boss fights, you don't, you can't just spam rations and take your life back. There you go. Take that ocelot. I'm going to dildo. have a lolly for that. <laughs> dildo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Damn it. Found us. Extra hornet -y just for Hornet Man to appear. Ooh. That what? is stupid. Why? He's spinning his guns, so that's like getting the hornets off him. <laughs> How did he learn that that would work? Spinning his guns of... is the answer to everything. Yeah, I was going to say, if you're late from the school of contrived nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> this is, there's, no, there's no logical way that you could ever learn that that would work. No. Well, I guess, well, one of the guys in the Cobra unit has this Hornet thing. So I guess if you knew that guy, you could have encountered it before. It's still stupid because it's like, right, well, the Hornet's a bit all around you, mate. Not just in the like the two foot 
sort of radius of where your guns are. Hiding behind the trees, all right, though. We'll meet again. All this can't go behind trees. <laughs> 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 They're known to be afraid of them. Oh, God. All of the other soldiers died instantly. Yo, you're a snake. You just jumped down a chasm. Everything's broken again, probably. It's got a horn of proof vest on. <clears throat> uh, this bit's pretty cool. I remember this bit because um, there's a nice little... like This cave gets gradually brighter the more time you spend in there, and your eyes adjust to the dark, which is quite a nice That's little cool. touch. You can find... I don't know if there are night mission goggles in here you can find, but there's a torch you can pick up as well. As in, like, a flame torch you can carry around with you. Ah, uh, that's the thing from the video as well, isn't it? The monkey mask. You've ah, got, yes. Got the torch at the start of it, and he's doing this with it. Yeah, that does something, apparently. Ah, I've got a feeling after we come out of this, um, this underground bit, I think we're getting near to the bit where you can shoot the end, but you have to pick up a sniper rifle before you get there. There's like a little warehousey thing before it, if I remember correctly. Wait, well, it's, well, it's worth what? Did I said twenty quid. I think you, you did, do it yeah. first time, yeah. So it's worth twenty quid if you can do it, Chris. All right. To do it, because there's a guy. He's in a wheelchair. And there's a guy pushing the wheelchair, so you have to shoot the guy with the pushing the wheelchair first, and then shoot the end. Because if you try and start shooting straight away, the guy will run with the wheelchair into the building. <laughs> So you got to shoot the guy with the wheelchair and then shoot the end in the head, and it takes a couple of shots to do it, I think. I actually can't see anything on my monitor, so I'm having to play two seconds behind on that screen. Just turn your monitor brightness up or something. No, I'll be right. <laughs> I can't, I can't, honestly, can't play like that. Where's my remote control? Yeah, you're gonna have to, <clears> aren't you? <laughs> it's just, just pitch black. Oh, you can't see that on the stream. Uh, Technical issues, please stand by. Should be enough, I think. Slightly better. It's pretty dark in here anyway, to be honest, Chris. Yeah, you're in a... It was, it was pitch. I couldn't see a thing. Yeah. That's the difference. You're in a tunnel in a cave. It's a bit dark anyway. Yeah, take that. Oh, frog, frog. eh? All will die. Yep. The frog apocalypse. Frog apocalypse. Frog apocalypse. <laughs> frog apocalypse. Snake. Speaking of which, did anyone see the trailers for that new uh, Moses film starring Christian Bale as Moses? Yeah. You know what? I, I don't care if you say that it looks ridiculous, but I actually quite like like the look of it. I the trailer's it actually grown right. on me a little bit. You know, I've always been... I, I'm not a religious person, as you all probably know, but I've always been a fan of the stories in the Bible. I actually quite like that... Some of them are. Some of them are interesting. Um, yeah. the, you know, they've got interesting moral obli you know, obligation as well as uh, um, being entertaining, I think. And I think that looks good enough to be inter interesting. Yeah, there's, there's still the, the, the problem of, like... Neither him nor Joel Edgerton, who's playing the Pharaoh, not the Pharaoh, but Ramesses, to look remotely like they could be from Egypt, <laughs> which is always a problem in films. They always do it. It's like, could you not just find, like, the actor of the right ethnicity who happens to be a good like, actor? An Egyptian actor. Yeah, is there no Egyptian actors? I mean, that can speak English, so. or at least of of sort of Egyptian descent. Mm. But they're not going to appeal to the mass public, are they? You're not going to get Christian Bale all over the film that people go, Ooh, oh, let's go watch that because I like Christian Bale. 
it is something it's been doing for a long time. It just it still irks me slightly. Just every time I see it. There are people that like film. That, I was saying this to Sal this morning. There are people that like films. There are also people that like games, but aren't gamers. You know, there are people who like mm. films who aren't film aficionados. Aficionado? Filmers. Aficionados. But you know what I mean? There's not. There's a distinction between the people who are, um, like, ex- really interested. To, uh, what they call you? Um, enthusiasts. You know, there are people who are enthusiasts, and there are people who are just watching films because they're coming out, and they need to make money at the end of the day, or they want to make money. Yeah, yeah, I completely understand all of it. I just uh, don't like it sometimes. <laughs> that being said, the other like the film itself, like aesthetically and all that, looks great. But it's Ridley Scott, isn't it? So it's going to look great anyway. What, what on frog right, was might, pretty tasty. I might hmm. take a look at that. K frog. What am I going to options again for? Right, what am I doing? What am I doing? Um, right, you've got a torch now, so you that, can have. That's light what I'm looking for. Yes. <laughs> Uh, is it a weapon thingy? Yes, it is. Yeah, you got a torch. Um, Underneath the AK-47? I can see it, but I can't equip it. I need, oh, right, sorry. I'm because trying you're... to figure out what I've got equipped. There we are. Fuck the directional mic as well. Who needs that? Yeah, you don't need it till way later on. Torch it up. You didn't, I didn't, the torch. I didn't equip it. <laughs> it's torch time. I, you know, I, I I love Metal Gear games, but in every single one of the games, there is a mechanic or some way that they've implemented something that's annoying. And the camo and the menu systems in this are shit. The 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 just terrible. It is a little bit laborious. They streamlined it a bit more in Metal Gear 4, but there's still like a massive inventory system in that as well. But it's a bit more streamlined. Yay, under the waterfall with a torch. <sighs> now, th again, this is one of those sections of the game where there are secret things to pick up here, but it's quite convoluted and I'm not sure if anything's really that useful. Just gonna keep going until you just fell off a cliff again. That again? Yeah, I did it on purpose. Fucking hell! Can I actually go down there? Obviously. There you go. I've got ah, another battery. I've got there another go. battery, but I don't know what they actually used for yet. They would be used for your thermal goggles if you had them. <laughs> got it. I'm not sure if there are night machine goggles in this cave somewhere as well, but yeah. So you just meant to be getting through these caves? Yeah, you're just getting through. Just getting to where you're going. That's where I just came. Down, I think. A crab. Oh, crab. There you can have some crab for dinner. Can you tranquilize that and throw it at people's pants? That's my intention. <laughs> yep, just got a crab. Nice. Not even a crab ration, you're just gonna eat it whole. Well, it doesn't count as a crab ration if you, if you catch it alive. Shit ah. and all. This may be the place that I just went through. I think it, it looks possibly like it. is. It looks oh well. Like it. it is it. easy to I'm get turned it. around in these caves. <clears throat> At least I've got a torch now and I can see what's going on. Yeah, I think you're generally headed north. Did you go left out of this one before? So, right. I think you went this way again, didn't you? No, he didn't. I don't think he did. He went down and went jumped off a little ledge. 
Uh, that guy. Got that bats. That's not going to work, is it? But I get one of them by firing randomly. <laughs> I'll just leg it through. Oh, no, I just want to see if I can get one. I don't particularly care about being hit. I think you either. can. I think you can. Maybe a knife would be a better one. Yeah. Just stab up. There we go. Take that, bats. Bloody hell, you got enough bat rations to make a bat pie? It's my intention. Yeah. That food's full, you can't carry anymore. Fuck you, some bats. Ah, is this the next little encounter? Uh, not just yet. Oh, excuse me. Vampire bats, no less. Have a bunch of one. Cobra. Kenyan mangrove crab. I thought I had. Um, I thought I picked up a sniper rifle, but again, I think that was in the virtuous mission, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, you haven't picked one up yet. There's uh, one when you come out of this little cave section, you end up in the sort of swamp, and the magro swamp, and you can <coughs> get one in a little factory somewhere. I did look it up before, Ed, because you have to pick it up before to, to do the little end cheat thing. You have to pick one up before that bit. Not too bad. Not too bad. I'm by about tasted bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't imagine that they taste very nice. No. Bats that lip off blood, I mean, it's bit, basically bit just furry. like a... Yeah, like a, a furry piece of black pudding. Yeah. Boom. Ooh, that's a good thing to pick up. That's going to be very handy in your next boss fight. There's a snake over this right as well. Yeah. I can see quite well now, to be fair. You don't have to kill every snake that you encounter. No. But you can do if you wish to. You're not lacking for food near, are you? You don't really all through the game, it's just that some some areas it's more important than others. And it depends if you can be bothered to go and kill the food, you can't just run through without bothering. There we go, snow uniform. What uniform was that, sorry? Snow. Ah, there you go, yes. Yeah, I'm back onto game dev as of Monday. Quite chuffed now. Yay. I think that's probably what I'm excited about, the fact that I can actually spend a day, you know, that I would normally be working. Just, just game devving. Did I just turn round then? Yep. Yeah. That's <laughs> what I'm looking at all that. Just did it again. You did it again. Every time I look at you guys, <laughs> it's putting me off, sending me off into a spin. A spiral. Yeah. You spin me right round. No. Oh. Right round. Well, I've no meat spinning in here. I think that's a wonderful website. You would. You miscreant. Says you. <laughs> your midget pawn and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Every day with the midget pawn. Every day. It's little people, be respectful. I came down there, didn't I? So. Yeah. A lot of the time in these, in well, in any game, 
I can imagine you guys sat there going, "You're going back on yourself," but I just because I want to see every air, every second, like little bit of the world, and I, I do it in every game. The same thing. No, I do that as well. It's like when I watch, I, I watch, I gave Sal the controls for um, State of Decay last night initially, and she obviously she, it was WASD and mouse keyboard, and she um, she couldn't do it, but she was. She was getting really stressed with it, but she was just missing everything. She wasn't even looking at things, you know. She was just kind of heading straight towards the next bit and not looking yeah, I around. To push through it. Well, the no, thing is, just... if you if you're not kind of if you're not associated with those kind of controls, then you won't feel like you're not looking at things because you're too busy thinking about controlling it. Yeah, I understand. Like we, that. we play I'm... a game and we look around like instinctively with the mouse or yeah. with the joystick. But and then strafe and move forward and backward, and to compensate for the way that we're looking as well. Yeah. Now, if I remember rightly, I did really dislike this fight. So that, um, what's useful in this fight is the bug spray, obviously jumping into the water, and when he's got all the bugs around him, use the shotgun to blast them off him. Like, you can't hurt him until you've blasted the hornets off him. Yeah. Because <laughs> he wears up like a coat of armour, basically. I'm glad he's the first to go. And grenades do the, do the job as well. Is there an explanation on, of why he's got like bees around his elbows? <laughs> he might, when he dies, he might he might say, oh, "I burned my village down when I was young." <laughs> <laughs> These guys don't have that stuff. Actually, they, you, you can speak to um, the support crew about it, and they will tell you stuff about them. But it's optional. Whereas in Metal Gear Solid Four, every time you defeat one of the bosses. This guy gets onto a codec call and tells you why they burned down their village or whatever. <laughs> it's the same for everyone. It's like, yeah, I got it. War happened and they killed everybody. That's the same story every time. Shouldn't smoke grenades work well against hornets? Yeah, yeah. What what else is uh, do I need? Uh, I would say stun grenades, the white phosphorus might be handy. Um, your shotgun. Yeah, got that. Uh, that'll, that'll do, do I reckon. Right, so the tactic is shoot him with a shotgun until he's got no bees yeah, on Yeah, like at, at the start of the fight, right right now, I think you can get a couple of shots in if you're quick, but then he'll quickly get the bees around him. Like, as he's, if you look at him now, he's not got them around him just yet. Then he try and get him. He does do some, like, cartwheels and shit. There you go. Yeah, and anytime he does that sort of stuff, jump in the water. Hornets with contrails. Yeah, I am going to rip away from you, mate. You're emitting hornets at me. Anybody that emits anything, I think, is a, is a worry. Yeah, 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 I'd run away from anyone who emitted something at me. There we go. Grenade! Grenade! <laughs> you can just blast him with a shotgun as well, but I don't know if there's respawning ammo for it in here. Fell over. You'd probably actually take more damage off if you went for a headshot with a pistol, to be honest. Just, just thinking that. In fact, let's trank him. Oh. Oh, no. Nope. Oh, there you go. Looks like a Christmas tree. <laughs> Very festive. <laughs> They're all gonna get you. Oh, reverse controls in the water. Uh. All oh, right. Yeah. The old. Fake, uh, the old. Uh, sorry, hot fake. Yeah, the old uh, fake bee man trick. <laughs> <laughs> that old chestnut. He doesn't look very comfortable when he's walking around with his harness suit on. Would you be? Would you be? Yeah. He just think he's walking around like this. <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of the opinion that if you don't like harness, you wouldn't have a harness suit. <laughs> <laughs> See, that reminds me, I think I might have mentioned this on a previous one where the uh, 
there's the guy from one of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy books who's like a rain god. But he doesn't yeah. know he's a rain god and it rains on him all the time and he hates yeah, yeah. it, but the rain <laughs> thinks it's making he's, him happy. Uh, he's a long distance lorry driver, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I forgot his name now. Yeah, me too. I don't think he's a big character, he's just a little. No, it's, it's somewhere. It's, it's Fucking somewhere hell, Chris. It's, third book or something like that. Like it's a... on one of the later books, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. when Arthur's uh, back down on Earth and him and Ben Church have sex in the clouds. <laughs> I uh, read those books a long time ago, so I have really vague memories of them, but I remember them making me laugh a lot. Yeah. yeah. yeah well, the only book series ever to make me laugh out loud while I was reading. <laughs> yeah, they did that to which, me. Uh, which one's that, sorry? Hitchhiker's, uh, Hitchhiker's Guide. Oh yeah, no, I'm with you there. They want some of my favourite books then. Uh, the Red all, Dwarf all ones as well. Five of them. I've yeah, not Red read them yet. I do fully intend to at some point in my life. Uh, did you ever read that, uh, uh, that Colony book? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was good. By Rob Grant. Really good. That yeah, made yeah. me laugh out loud as well. Yeah, I did, yeah. It's the bit where he's learning to, um, to control, yeah, his, control his body. body. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny. Damn, that, um, that What If book made me laugh quite a lot. Yeah, that did actually as well. Fuck's sake. I thought I'd get away with that. <laughs> 10 out of 10 for that dive. Did you throw a grenade at yourself then? No, he threw it. Tommy what? Tommy. Oh, it's gonna fire, it's gonna fire hornets at you like a Tommy gun. Oh, Tommy gun, I thought you said hornet god. He thinks he's in the mask, this guy. <laughs> the Hornet mask. That's interesting with this tread water, just stabilise yourself with your face. <laughs> oh, bum off. You got oh, some fish at least. Trip a grenade and oh. fall in the water. on him. Right on it. Oh, he's throwing a thing. <laughs> it's just annoying, this fight. Yeah, you've hardly taken any damage off him as well. Oh. I do remember this being a bit of a tricky and annoying fight. It's like there's only one place you can stand to actually fire at him. Well, it's the fact that you have to keep jumping in the water all the time as well, and just it makes it really slow and tedious. Is that the best you can do? Give him in the head. Easier said than done with a fucking control pad. Yeah, it's almost worth not going for the headshots because they're so hard to get. Take loads, of, take loads of damage off, but they're really hard to get. Let's put his Hornet pheromones on there, honey. Fuck off. <laughs> if I was a bad... When I'm a bad guy, whenever I turn into a bad guy, I'm not going to shout out exactly what I'm going to do before I do Grenade. it. Grenade! <laughs> Crunch! Yeah. Announce your attacks before you do them. Crotch punch. <laughs> Notice that seems to appear in quite a lot of Japanese. <laughs> fucking well. Johnny they Cage. They say what they're going to do before they do it. I have to perform my super ultra technique because I just do it. Why are you telling us that you have to do it? <laughs> yeah, there's no need for that at all. Yeah, it appears in a lot of stuff and it's always just superfluous bollocks. I'm going to cry in a minute if I don't actually get a shot in. That'll be a first for the stream. Just a bit of Chris crying about a boss fight. <laughs> Fuck off. Piss off. You're a shit brick. Yeah, right, it is a bit weird that they've added this mechanic now rather than, well, mechanic, whatever you want to call it. Like, when you fought against uh, Metal Gear, you just had to guess what it was doing from its body language. 
Like, it seems a bit ridiculous that the boss is telling you what he's going to do because they can't be bothered animating that. Yeah, I don't. I think he's the only one that does it. <laughs> I don't think the rest of them start going, I'm going well, to hit you now. He's pretty much Raven, isn't he? He's the same kind of character as Raven. Well, the animals the, all over him and that. They've, yeah, they've all got their archetypes, haven't they, in, in Metal Gear? Yeah. They're all similar. It's like the Beauty and the Beast unit is basically Psycho Mantis in three different forms. Yeah. Psycho Mantis crossed with um, the various other female characters in the game as well. S Sniper Wolf and all that other stuff. Well, plus those bosses have got elements of the other bosses from across the series. Like, Laughing Octopus has got a little bit of Solidus's Octopus Arms thing going on. Yeah, yeah. But also, she's invisible and all, all that kind of stuff, so... Oh, bum. You're embarrassing yourself. What, what's all that? Where's all that coming from? Behind him. Yeah, so when, he, when you know he does those bee grenades, you can shoot those out of the air as well, but again, it's quite tricky to do. As in, he, if he, when he first gets them in his hand, shoot it out of his hand and it'll drop on him. Yeah, where am I? You're about to drown. You're drowning. That's it, someone tried to kill fish. Oh, there's another Don't platform. Don't forget to uh, breathe. Yeah, yeah, alright. Fucking hell, guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You lost a load of health there. Oh, shit. <laughs> I've got loads of food as well, haven't I? Hang, hang on, B-Man. Wait until I just eat a snake or a and ration. ration. Or a couple of frogs. Calorie bait. Hey, this works. Right. Bored of this fight now. Killed a load more fish. That's more like it. Yeah. Return. Get right, into a bit of a routine here. Come on. Just annoying. This is just a shit, shit boss fight. Kojima, shot your fucking boss fights out. I know that is all you do, but you're just annoying me now. Yeah, this one is annoying. There's no getting away from it. It's the worst one in this game. What's he doing? It's like it's just having like a bit he's... of a dance. Yeah. He's conducting him. Fucking. Uh, what happened? Have you beat him? Yeah. Beat Do you only have him. to get the, the health, like, half or something with bosses? I don't know. No, he's not. He's not dead yet. This is just a halfway stage. Oh, the right. Bass off he goes, now I'm angry, <coughs> and then you fight him some more. <laughs> what the fuck? You just vomit beats? Yeah, those are like special big ones that'll come straight for you. Oh, and they come in the water. Brilliant. It won't let you go under the sur under I'm the surface if you're just still on the surface. They'll get you. Bullet beak. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> get it out. Yeah. Um, knife to take it out. To take just it did out. that. Yeah. Well, he's getting a bit grenade happy.
Oh, he's doing his decoy thing again. It's, it's him on the left. Oh, what? Well, at least the bullet bees didn't get you. This guy is a complete dick. Yeah, he's, he's annoying. Oh, I hate the underwater controls. There we go. Yeah, just shoot with the AK-47. Scream tranquilizers in. That grenade should have got him. Nice one. Problem is, is I'm covered in fucking pheromones straight away. And I can't actually do what I need to do. True meaning of pain is that it hurts. It's not that complicated, really. You can get a blackboard out and start to teach you about neuralgia. It's like it's like a waste of grenade, isn't it? Fucking honestly, it's like I'm playing with inverted controls, which I am. Bloody bullet bees. They're shooting at you now. Where did you get a gun? Tommy gun. Yeah, he did say that before. Oh, right. I never saw him firing it. I didn't realise he was actually... Oh! He uh, kept interrupting him when he did. Have you got any life medicine in your inventory? No. Oh, okay. I don't think so, anyway. I think he picks them up. I'm sure he picks them up. Oh. I don't know if you've used it, though. Yeah, they're quite sparse, so I don't know if you want to tough it out or take it. He's coming in his bullet bees. Oh! His next thing he says is, where are you? You're embarrassing yourself. Well, you're going to be dead as fuck in a minute anyway, so shut up, mate. So shut up. You tell him. I think that's a very articulate way to respond to this kind of uh, antagonist. Obviously, whatever happened then. <laughs> well, you keep shooting the grenade down when it's right on top of you, so it's just going to land on you and blow up. <laughs> I didn't realise there was an actual grenade inside that. So. Yeah, yeah, those, he's sending grenades over with like the bees I, around I just him. assumed it was a bee. <laughs> a lot of bees, or rather. Hornets. Bees, hornets, whatever. Hornets. They're all the same thing. Shoot, 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 shoot! If you shoot the grenade thingy, it'll drop on him instead. I get Jesus that. It's just fucking hard to do it. I know. 
I might stop playing Metal Gear games. Forever. Forever. I, I hope Phantom Pain isn't full of fucking boss fights. I really do. It will be though, won't it? You know it'll have quite a few. Was there any boss fights in Ground Zeroes? Uh, no. They're not. Interesting. There's there's a bossish fight in it, but it's not a boss really. It's just a just a harder normal, you know, kind of mini enemy boss. Thing. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. I'll find it out soon. I'll get it fairly soon and have a go at it myself. Fucking Jeez. bella. What's for that? Jesus. What is some of the fights, right, are, are brilliant. Brilliant ideas, greatly, you know, well implemented, but most of them. Just die! The what, mate? Just one more time so we can get it clear. Ah, thank you. Well, they all do that in this game. All the bosses blow up when they die as well. Because, you know, that's what you do. Just because. They've got like a dynamite that's set to go off when their heart rate drops below a certain amount. I don't know. <laughs> I thought that was something that I hadn't gathered. Right, let's get this stamina back up. I'm a fucking terrible human being, I really am. <clears throat> I've been telling you that for ages. I don't need telling, I need to realise. Yeah, but right. we can't make it realise. Yeah, exactly. So then, onward, out of the caves and into the banyan grove sort of thingy. I think we need to draw a line under it here. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah? Yeah. It's been about an hour and a half, I think. It's one o'clock. Mm. Yeah. Hey, right, let me like get this. out of this area, then we'll uh, we'll pause and save and paramedic it. Take that, you stupid crabs. The thing is, you grab all this food, by the time we come back to the game next week, it'll all have gone off. Can I get, like, a portable fridge for it? Unfortunately mm. not. Yeah, it's in the next area. Cool. Some hooch in there as well. Do they even still make that? Uh, no, but they didn't in the sixties, uh, the fifties, or whatever. Come on, that was that was trying to think of a modern alcohol. But... <laughs> Stop teabagging the skeleton! So much disrespect going on in this game. Skelly bagging. <laughs> Skull <Zero>. bag. <laughs> secrets. Not quite a secret, that was it. No, it wasn't at all. It wasn't exactly hidden. Just a thing. I forgot there's like, I thought when you fought the boss, it was like a, that was the end of the cave section, but there's more than that section. They obviously forgot about. This all looks worryingly familiar. I was just going to say, this feels like I've been here before. Yeah, I have. I need to go north yet again. Are you going back with yourself? That'll be a problem. Then there you go. That's why. <laughs> this looks like the bit we came through to start with in reverse, I was thinking. <laughs> it turns out it is. Dope. Um. No, you can't go up that way. So 
So I have to go through there, do I? Do you want to get your torch out? So, or can you see alright? I can see, yeah, but... Oh, fair enough. I can see alright as well. Put a torch away anyway, fuck it. Yeah, my Ooh. eyes have adjusted. Just do that uh, roll can't, can't, on the water there. You can see where you are, I guess. <laughs> Boom. Oh. That seems to be anything. I think you. Yeah, you can come back to this bit from another vantage point. <laughs> Pelvic thrust swimming. It is a strange way of swimming, that isn't it? <laughs> like no one swims like that. <laughs> Imagine people racing like that. Yeah. Thrusting through the water. It's how old ladies swim in the swimming baths. You know what I mean? Not because just, that's, that's just because they're always talking to each other rather than actually trying to swim. Yep. I could so, take you know resentment what, you... in that comment. Well, when you're like try to swim because you know when you actually want to go at a certain speed so that you're getting exercise it's really annoying when there's loads of people just fanning on it's like if you want to have a chat go and sit in the fucking cafe i anyway, couldn't it's... agree more this this is my massive bugbear with uh most swimming baths is that you can't get a swim because of people dicking around yeah basically having a chat most swim baths are well aware of that and do try to do something about it but People are people. They don't care because people are paying. That's they it. Do they, put, they put lanes in where it's like, right, this is the breaststroke lane. And you're like, right, but they're still shit at it and they're still not like swimming. Oh, I imagine the dragon your beard here. must be crazy, Chris. What? I'm, my, I imagine the dragon your beard must be crazy. I bet you just turn upside down every time you get in the water. I've only been swimming twice with a beard. Terrifying prospect. I don't even want to imagine what that would be like. Uh, you have to go back the way you came. It's, it's, you can't get to that side of the water. You have to go back so over to, to the side. I have to go through that hole, don't I, basically? Yeah, I think so. If this is near the beginning of where you came in, apparently there are night machine goggles in this area somewhere. I don't know if you, you can, you don't really need them in this game, you can get by without them. You reckon? Back through here? I think so, yeah, it must be. I can't decide if I want to make my new PC. Oh, fucking walking into walls again. I can't decide if I want to make my new PC and just kind of leave it half done. Or uh, I'll wait until Monday when I get my new case and do it all then, properly. It's probably I'm, better if you do it all in one go. I've, had, I've got it all like. It's been sat there for two days though. Sat in a nice little neat pile with the RAM and the CPU plugged into the motherboard, but nothing else. Right, this is where I just was, and I jumped down, yep. and then... Yes, yeah, so don't oh, jump down. On. Go up to the way. To dead guys again. Oh, I'm going the right way, at least. Oh. I was there as well, wasn't I? I must have just went out the wrong way in that. Yeah, I think you went out the wrong way. Yeah, he went out the wrong way. Let's get us out of these caves, and then I'll finish, I promise.
Ooh, right or left, right or left, right or left, quickly. I don't care. Tough. <laughs> Ooh, that's a bit of a beast. Stab him up. Snake G. Giant anaconda, that's why it's so big. <laughs> you like that? Jesus. How, hang on, the, the, the ration tasted terrible. Yeah, it was a Russian yeah. ration though, so it was a stab at the commies. Alright, okay. <laughs> it tasted of socialism. Yeah. Yeah. It's got a fascist twat tang to it. <laughs> fascist twat, twat tang. <laughs> uh, this feels very familiar as well. You've been here before. You have been here before. Yeah. So you're still headed north. No, I you? just, I just must have went round on myself. And not realised, because I'm a dick. Maybe you went back the other path that you didn't come through, that's why it didn't look familiar. Well, up is usually good in a cave. You what, sorry? Again. Up, up is usually good in a cave. <clears throat> you know, I'm worried about some of the vents in my game being too long. And crawling through them like this, and it's like I don't think it is actually that much of a problem, is it? Ah, light. There you go. Ta da! That's back to where you fought the boss, basically, and then head out the other side. Oh no, it was a glitch. It's not like <laughs> pop in. So do you have to get onto the boss platform somehow? No, no, you just go, just go north from where you are. Just keep going north. All right. You just like when you finished the fight, you just went out the wrong exit. What, what am I doing? What? What? He, he just went prone in the water, and I couldn't do anything. <laughs> Got to have patience, haven't you? Yep. Why well, are you a doctor? Hey. hey. <laughs> <coughs> I know that was bad. <laughs> there we go. Uh, we're out of the caves pretty much. Yay! Now I can save it. Apart from there's a cutscene. Uh, oh god. It's only a little one this one I'm pretty sure. To be fair, none of them seem to be too lengthy so far. You know, the the intros where the boss kicks the shit out of him and... The 1960s people. <laughs> Flying platforms, that's... yeah, whatever. Ooh, what are those? Ooh. Right. Let's speak to paramedic. Paramedic. I see you captured a giant anaconda. Don't care. Aren't giant anacondas huge? Yeah. Giant. Hence the giant. Oh room. shit! I just spoke to her. Not. Yeah. It's fucking. I'm pressing the wrong one. Food. Yeah, that's why she's telling you about the food. Saving the game, Snake. So far, I haven't died. Nope, not once. I've died one. twice in this entire game so far, and we've had three sessions so far. You haven't died in the uh, in the main snake eating mission yet. I don't think of you. Oh no, you did. You did die when you found. Must have died once. Yeah. Snake. And then you died snake once when you jumped off the cliff at the beginning. Yeah, that, that kind of makes up for all the others, doesn't it? Or the, the lack of others. It forces it on you, doesn't it? The uh, codec calls after you've just done something that you want to do as part of playing a computer game. Saving. 
I mean, right. Anyway, thank you very much, everybody. Um, thank you. Unless these guys have anything else to say, we're going to call it a day. And uh, next time, Steve's going to lead it, and he's going to actually say some words. Well, also, the I've next... said a few words. You said a few, and to be fair, they have been worth it. You know, the, you haven't said much, you know, but... It's quality been... rather than quantity. It is, it is, it is. <laughs> and besides, at the beginning, when I kept trying to say something, I was interrupting people all the time, so... It's mainly Lou being rude over everybody it and is. talking over everyone. So we need to do something about that. Give him a spank on the... Maybe you're giving him a disciplinary or something, shall we? How about we get one of those, um, you know, those dog train collars that you can electrocute with remotely? <laughs> oh, no, how about them ones that are in wedlock that blow his head up? <laughs> if he walks Maybe too far away from... Maybe too extreme. I like the enthusiasm, though. <laughs> yeah, all right. Anyway, thank you very much, everybody. Uh, we'll be back with part four next week. And uh, hopefully just as, many, the, just as many the, deaths. That's the bit where you can, like... It's like the end as well, next part. Cool. Ah, cool, right. It's coming up then. Have we got? Do you know the sniper rifle's coming up as well? Is it somewhere I, I can grab it? Apparently it's in the same area just before you get to that bit. I was, I was looking it up the other day. Fair but enough. We've not missed it yet. So. Okay, well, thanks a lot, everybody, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye.